All right, Dizkid Boogie back on the mic here to commentate some doubles. Oh, you can still sit there. I just got another chat. Uh, here to commentate some doubles, because doubles is strict. Um, all right. Blue team, the Salad Bowl cats. Uh, been going Fox Marth for the majority of the tournament, but uh, they lost winner's finals to uh, the Burton team. Burt Gaming, Burt Bus Driver, the uh, longtime sponsor of these players, sponsors them with his kindness and his friendship. Uh, so anyway, now they're trying Sheik Fox. And I didn't actually see winner's finals, so I couldn't tell you if it's going better or not. But one thing that's interesting here ooh, is uh, when you have both of the floaties off stage, like figuring out who you want to try to edge guard, it's usually easier to edge guard Sheik. So it's good to maybe like do a team edge guard against them. But then Peach has a lot of ways to save Sheik. Ooh, those needles were close. A little too far away. Ooh. So I'm... So I guess Chooper is the Sheik. Is that right? Choop and Cuckoo. Choop and Cuckoo. Oh. Fox thought he had his jump, I guess. But yeah, like you always have to be careful with Peach and teams. Like she can just insert herself into those situations and get uh, get that edge guard or get the down smash in there, edge guard. Because I was watching the edge guard that just happened. But yeah, she can get a down smash in there and it just like screws everything up. And there are certain spacings where you can tell that Peaches are gonna like try to go for a down smash and bait it out and either punish it or just go to the. Uh, you know, go to their other teammate. To answer your question, Curb uh, is just using Sheik for teams. He is still an amazing Game & Watch player. Um, he uses a lot of characters in teams, though. Really good Puff, really good Spaceys. You name it, he's got it. So, back to Yoshi's. Back to their old team. It makes sense, but man, Peach Sheik, they can do so much quick damage on Yoshi's. I mean, already Fox, yeah, had that kill percent. And the help from Randall is good, but they just rack up so much damage quickly. So it's really going to be up to Chooper to, um, or no, I guess up to Cuckoo is the mark, maybe? I don't know. Oh, no. They switched. I see. Blue team. I'm not even going to try to guess. But yeah, Peach and Sheik, both of their down smashes cover so much range. It's really easy for them to just rack up the damage on this stage. And Curb throughout the course of the tournament and like the friendlies I played with him, was super good at just staying alive with Sheik. What you're seeing, 176% on Yoshi's. And Swedish might, yeah, could have gone for a save there, but I think he didn't have his float, so it would have been dangerous. Oh my gosh, yeah. So Marth had to do something to pressure them to stop them from edge guarding Fox. He just sort of stood there and watched. And so then Peach could hold the edge and then she could just go up and hit their backer whenever they want. Oh, what an edge guard by Swedish. Oh, my best friend is here. My best friend, Joey. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, wearing pants. I'm wearing pants because I... Uh, I came, I came here straight from the airport, so I couldn't, uh, yeah, I always wear pants when I travel. Couldn't just change in my shorts. Oh, oh! Wow, great save by, uh, Herb. And two quick stock losses. Puts the red team two stocks up. Throw out Bergen to kill. Uh, that, was, that was a good try by Fox. You do have to take the ledge from Sheik, but if you're going to do it, oh, you have to do it early. And the drill from the ledge, not great. 
it, it doesn't really accomplish that much, and it kind of forces your teammate to not put out a hitbox. Marth obviously did that forward smash, which killed Fox. And uh, when you do that drill, like, yeah, you're just putting yourself and your team in danger. And it got him killed. Pretty much, like, the characters who it makes sense to do aerials from the ledge. Falcon makes sense because knee is so good, so strong and quick. But, yeah, m most of the other time you want to let your teammate clear the edge for you. Especially when you're Fox and you can just invincible ledge stall, you know. So it was a close enough game, they could maybe see a reason to go in. So, okay, well, would make sense there. Would it be for Fox to just keep shielding and Marth just forward smashes through his shield when Sheik down smashed his shield? Instead, Marth waited and then Fox felt like, oh, he needed to go, pre you know, punish that down smash. Marth grabs ledge. Yes, oh. Yeah, I think Marth needed to get off the edge sooner. Like, react to Peach going up and immediately, like, stand up so that he could have a chance to follow up that back air. But they do have a tenuous stock lead. So it's working better. Oh, that was a perfect situation. I mean, Swedish was crouching behind Sheik's shield. So, like, if you're going to go in, you you got to, you have to have a successful drill or shine. Otherwise, you will get down smashed. And missed the angle for Randall. And so now, suddenly, they go from being a stock up to a stock down. Teams is fast. Oh, wow. Good wait by Swedish. Whenever a floaty is camping the ledge like that, or sort of like waiting to come back on stage, you just gotta kind of leave him alone. Go for the other one. Oh, not. Uh, I guess he wanted to try to get a back air, but Fox going off of that forward air. Like, Mark kind of had the situation under control. And there's the down smash, and another one. Why not? <laughs> just keep him going. Yeah, and that's a fine sacrifice when you're when you're up a stock. Trading stocks is always good. Okay. All right. So okay, so there the trick is to not concentrate on Sheik. Once he hit him, hit Sheik off stage. He needed to just try to get Peach. Oh my gosh. And that's it. Yeah, Fox just got wrecked this game. A lot of low gimps. Twice he was charging his up B and then died off the bottom blast zone. Um, it was mostly just just the Fox getting caught in some bad spots. Um, falling into Peach's down smash, getting a lot of damage. And that'll do it. Curb goes crazy going in. So grand finals, a very clean 3-0 from Team Burt Gaming.